Welcome back to the Jepson videos. Today we are in the Sonoran Desert in late February, where we found the desert lily, also known by its scientific name, Hesperocallus undulata. This plant occurs at low elevations in the Mojave and Sonoran Desert on sandy flats, often in association with creosote bush. Hesperocallus undulata is an herbaceous member of the agave family, or agavaceae. Flowers in this family have six perianth parts. The perianth is the showy, non-reproductive outer part of the flower, collectively referring to the petals and the sepals. When these two perianth layers are indistinguishable from one another, as is the case of the desert lily, we call them tepals. In Hesperocallus undulata, the funnel-shaped perianth is white with silver green to purple mid-striped tepals. Notice that the perianth parts are fused for about one quarter of their length from the flower base. This is a key characteristic to this genus. The flower itself is large, showy, and fragrant, especially at night. The flowers have six stamens with yellow anthers. Each stamen is attached to the perianth. The style and stigma are white, and the stigma has three lobes. The desert lily blooms from February to May. The flowers are arranged in a raceme, which is a type of inflorescence, or array of flowers, in which the flowers open indeterminately from the bottom to the top. Here, you can see the flowers at the bottom of this raceme are open, while the flowers at the top are still closed and will open later in the season. The narrow leaves of Hesperocallus undulata are blue-green, up to 20 inches long, with wavy white margins. In years of poor rainfall, the plants may not flower, and so these leaves will be all that you see. So when the desert receives plenty of winter precipitation, head out in search of Hesperocallus undulata. The desert lily is a distinctive must-see among the California flora. Thanks for watching! Follow the Gypsum videos to learn more about the plants of California.